Eddie Lacy didn't even show up. But that didn't stop fans from traveling cross country to wait hours in line for his garage sale. You guys came specifically for this garage sale because you guys don't have, you know, garage sales in Denver, right? We don't have Eddie Lacy garage sales in Denver. Uh, the secret sale. Yes, we, yes. When we found out that we could get some of Eddie Lacy's stuff, even if it's a spatula, we figured it was worth it. You could find everything from used socks to his bedroom set and tailored suits too. This is going to be the look. Yeah. Yeah, right here. Used cleats, new cleats, signed game books, plates and bowls. It was a great giveaway from a man also known as a great neighbor. I have to be very honest and tell you, I did make him cookies. <laughs> I was I was known as the cookie lady. <laughs> but I don't want to tell that too much because, you know, they're controversy about Eddie's weight. People started lining up, I would say, about 9, 9.15. Actually, we never took the pots out of the cupboard. There's pots in there. Jeb, there's still pots in there in one of the cabinets. We need to sell those, yep. Okay. And within minutes, those were gone too. A sellout in less than three hours. But don't be surprised by this turnout. It's the Packer way. If you're a Packer fan, you just live the life. And when you live the life, you try to get everything you can as far as Packer memorabilia or anything to do with a player, then you feel like you're part of that team or that person. You used, used. Used Old Spice for a dollar. Yep. Got an uh, iPad mini okay. case for $4. Okay. A chart, uh, game console. We don't have a PS3, but it's got Eddie Lacy's fingers on it, so it's worth it. Find a detective to scrape the fingerprints off of it. And, and we do have some Swiffer dusters at home, so this is going to work out well. There's been, you know, a couple people have bought, you know, Eddie Lacy's underwear. Would you have bought Eddie, Eddie's underwear? No, I, I'm not that crazy. <laughs>